There are eight skills that will make you rich. Some people will find it hard to believe, but everyone has the chance to be wealthy. But the skills that people choose to develop over the course of their lives are what make the difference between those who get rich and those who don't. So in this video, I'll show you eight skills that will make you a millionaire that you can use right away to start getting rich. Skill one, goal setting. Having clear goals is like having a map. The more detailed the map, the easier it will be to get where you want to go. In contrast to people who don't have much money, the rich use the most effective ways to set goals and reach those goals. First, the rich use the SMART goal framework to set their goals. For this method to work, your goal must be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. Using the SMART goal framework, for example, your financial goal could be increase my income by $30,000 in 12 months by doing 10 more freelance projects. Having a strong goal that meets all of the SMART goal framework's requirements will make it much more likely that you will reach these goals, especially if you combine this method with the other millionaire goal-setting secret. Most millionaires will tell you that you need to write down your goals. A Harvard Business study found that the 3% of MBA graduates who wrote down their goals ended up making 10 times as much as the other 97% of MBA graduates put together just 10 years after they graduated. But once you have written down your goals, you must also look at them. People who describe or picture their goals in great detail are said to be anywhere from 1.2 to 1.4 times more likely to reach their goals than those who don't. So, it's not enough to just set smart goals. You also need to look at them every day. This will remind you how important they are and help you reach them faster. Skill 2. Making finances fun. Anytime you reach a financial goal, whether it's another day without spending or one of your long-term income goals, it's a great way to build up your financial momentum. In fact, reaching these goals can be so important to your overall success that many financial advisors will suggest plans to help people get these bursts of momentum instead of taking the cheapest route. For example, paying off smaller debts first isn't as good for your finances, even if the interest rate is higher than on larger debts. However, getting rid of one or two debts gives you the motivation you need to keep going on your journey to get out of debt. So if you're not already doing it, setting financial goals should be one of your top priorities in your new and improved financial life. Ability to find opportunities is the third skill. There are opportunities everywhere, whether you know it or not. The people who can find and take advantage of these opportunities are the ones who are most likely to get rich. Many people mistakenly think that being able to spot opportunities is something you were born with, but this is not the case. You can learn and master spotting opportunities, just like you can learn to type or read. Let's look at an empty house as an example. Most people would see this rundown house as an eyesore and ignore it right away. But what if you had taken the time and effort to learn about foreclosed homes, housing markets, and home improvements? Maybe this house is in one of the best neighborhoods in town, and because it went into foreclosure, you can buy it for a small fraction of what it would normally cost. Then, with some work, you can turn that property that seems useless into a great place to live for yourself or for renters who will pay you every month to live there. As you probably learned from this example, if you keep learning, whether it's formally or informally, you can see new opportunities and make money from them. Skill 4. Time Management Time is without a doubt the most valuable thing we have, but millions of people waste it watching Netflix or endlessly surfing the web and then they wonder why they aren't reaching all of their financial goals. The truth is that rich people are very cruel about how they spend their time. But you can't just make the most of your time, you have to use time management techniques to make every second count. For example, many people who value their time like to put their daily tasks in order of importance and make sure they do their most important tasks first thing in the morning. This method for managing your time is effective because it helps you make sure you finish your most important tasks every day and gives you a boost as you cross off your hardest tasks. The rich also use theme days as a way to get ahead. By putting your days of the week into groups based on what you do, you can be more focused and get more deep work done. The founder of Twitter, Jack Dorsey, is a big fan of theme days. He says that these theme days help him stay on task and keep from getting sidetracked. If a task or request doesn't fit with what the day is about, he doesn't do it. Jack divides his week like this. Mondays are for management, Tuesdays are for product development, Wednesdays are for marketing and growth, Thursdays are for developers and partnerships, Fridays are for culture and recruiting, Saturday is his day off, and Sundays are for reflection, strategy, feedback, and getting ready for Monday. 
Now, not all rich people use theme days, but most know how important it is to stay on task when trying to do good work. Most people think they are getting more done when they do more than one thing at once, but they are just fooling themselves. There have been many studies that show how inefficient it is to do more than one thing at once. The American Psychological Association found that switching between tasks can make people 40% less productive. In short, if you want to become a millionaire, you need to use tried and true methods for managing your time to get the most out of each day. Skill 5. Taking care of money If you don't know how to handle your money, you can't be rich. It's as simple as that. This is why rich people always work on getting better at managing their money. They know how to make more money with the money they already have. They get their money to work for them, which helps them get richer. Most people don't know how to make money work for them, so they are always working for money. Most people spend most of their money on their own needs, and what's left usually sits in a savings account with low interest. Rich people can add to their wealth by keeping their personal costs low and putting the rest of their income to work. They don't keep a lot of money in one place for a long time. They put it to use by growing their business or buying investments that would pay off. By consistently cutting down on personal expenses over a number of years and putting as much money as possible back into activities that bring in money, these people are able to increase their wealth in a relatively short amount of time. Skill 6. Putting off pleasure We live in a world where we can get answers right away. It's nice to get a text message right away or to get the package you order the next day. But this quickness has made it harder for us to put off getting what we want. Most people, unfortunately, are very impulsive and interested in having fun. They often waste money on things that make them happy right away, but don't help them in the long run. But the rich know that the key to building real wealth is to put off pleasure and think about the long term. People who are wealthy don't waste their money on things they don't need. They don't want to spend their money right now. So they put it into savings and investments that grow in value and give them money they can use later. This habit of delaying gratification is called delay discounting, and it happens when someone decides to discount the value of future rewards to get something they want right away, even though it's not very smart to take a smaller reward. But don't just believe me when I say that this skill is important. Over 2,500 people took part in a study where they were asked if they would take a smaller amount of money. $500 or a larger amount, $1,000, after a delay of one day, one week, one month, six months, or one year. When the researchers used machine learning algorithms to model the relationship between people's tendency for delay discounting and the other self-reported variables, they found that delay discounting was a better predictor of income than age, ethnicity, race, and height. So the rich learn this skill by making sacrifices that most people don't. As a result, they can now enjoy life in ways that most people can only dream about. Skill 7. Staying Organized Rich people know a secret about how to organize that poor people don't. If you ask a poor person how they feel about organizing their finances, they will say it's a waste of time. But the rich know that when done right, good organization doesn't take time, it makes time. This is true especially when it comes to managing money. You can waste a lot of time if you have to look all over for your checkbook or bank statements, if you can't find statements for bills that may or may not be due, or if you have to sort through a big pile of papers to find a name or address. If you don't stay on top of things and pay late, you could get hit with huge late fees, bad credit, and higher interest or insurance payments. Yes, even things like how much your car insurance costs depend on your credit score. So if you want to live like the rich, you should get your finances in order and use the time and money you save to make even more money. Ability to focus on high-value tasks is the eighth skill. Like I said before, rich people are great at managing their time, and one way they do this is by being aware of how much their time is worth. They always ask themselves if the tasks they are doing are important, so they can spend most of their time on things that are more important. But what kinds of things are high-value? In terms of business, these are the things that will bring in the most money. For example, an entrepreneur who wants to make $1 million in one year and is willing to spend 2,000 hours working figures that one hour of his time is worth $500. For that entrepreneur to reach their goal, they must spend their time doing things that are worth $500 per hour to their business. You can't make $1 million in one year if you spend most of your time doing things that someone else could do for less than your hourly rate. So how do millionaires know which things are worth their time and which aren't? Rich people decide which of their daily activities will help them make more money. 
For example, if you run a business, which seems like it will pay off more, updating your client contact list or holding a sales meeting to close a new client. Of course, the second one. They spend as much time as they can on these things and give other tasks, such as administrative work, to other people. This really shows how the 80 by 20 rule works. The rich figure out which 20% of their activities bring in 80% of their profits and then make sure they spend most of their time on these. In fact, business owners who are successful do the same thing with their clients. It's not unusual for a small number of clients to bring in most of your money. If this is the case, why would you spend time and energy on clients whose chances of bringing in money are low? In short, if you want to get rich, you need to look at how you spend your precious time each day and make sure it's only on high-value things. Thanks for coming in to watch. If you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe for our channel. Having said that, I'll see you in the next one.